What's good, everybody? We have some pup gaming for you. It's a best of five show match. First match coming in here, Dry Arabia. It's 3DB spawning in the southeastern side against Anatand in the northwest. And of all things, the first first matchups in English Mirror. Not what you'd expect, but I will say the English Mirror might be a little bit different here in the pup. Normally, it's just kind of a uh, a little bit of a boom fest, I would say. Go up to you know Castle Age and just have that longbow mass. Get up to enclosures, play very defensively, extra town centers, all that. But we might see a little bit of some different stuff with the king coming out. And oh, I was gonna say. Might have been able to build a mill here instead and save himself a mill later on if he wanted to double up on uh, on the good old gold and stone. That's always one of the things you love to see, mainly as the Abbasid, but won't hate to see it as the English either. Both players all on, uh, all on the... Sh Whoa. Am I confused? Where's... Oh, B's already on the deer. I was wondering where his villagers went under the town center. Went for some back deer, so just going ahead and going for some advantageous long-term food eco. No survival techniques. A lot of times you will see that build if uh, it's one of the maps where deer spawn under your TC. But not opting for it just because of the walking time and already, you know, getting closer to being able to age up with just a little bit more food in the bank for B, which is just that walking time delay. The big question here is, are we going to see the Abbey of the K memes, OG, uh, OG name for it? Now it spawns that king out quite strong. And uh, yeah, with these builds, you would expect the, the feudal all in or at least the quicker feudal age build into some military pressure. Um, but it really is going to be dependent on what bills get pulled and where the town center is going to be headed after the age up. Council Hall going down for both. Of oh, I lied. Council Hall going down for 3DB. Yet Anatan is going for the Abbey of the Kings. So, so with this Abbey of the Kings, it's able to spawn this king out. 150 food, 150 gold. So quite expensive. However, it heals your units around over time. Two health per second when they're out of combat. So you can essentially utilize this as a French knight for your uh, for your squad. So you can really see a different unit composition coming out of the English. And you know, might be able to punish one of the greedier plays from 3DB going for those early deer. And there come the survival techniques during the age up. So did not for it before, wanted to get that quicker timing and, uh, and go on up. Anatan still heavy onto the gold and would expect this to end up being a uh, mill being dropped at some point soon into a wheelbarrow play. But I'm crazy. I'm, I'm so used to just regular English. It's the king. It's 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 gold for the king, I'm sure. Maybe? Maybe a little bit of both. Who really knows? Um, but in these, uh, in these, you know, I would say both of these pro players, essentially, minds, uh, you know, with, these, with this PUP update, they have so many different strategies, so many different options. Now, one of the overlooked things, because everyone is so hyped about the Abbey of Memes with the King ability, the Council Hall is actually a bait, a, available to utilize uh, in Castle Age to build crossbows. So it has a much better ability for English to transition against something like the Burgrave Rush. They can go faster castle and just match up because they're going to have a double producing cross, uh, archery range that's going to be able to produce those crossbows on up, actually do damage, actually, you know, help defend a little more compared to what the longbows did. Council Hall has finished finished for 3DB, immediately queues up three longbows. This is a lot of times uh, what you'll see out of the English. You send three and kind of see what pressure is and uh, what response your opponent's going to make. But no, 3DB continuing up the longbow mass. The big question here is Anatan going to match it on up. The king pops out and look at this beautiful, beautiful unit. Just absolutely a beast coming out looks like an elite knight 
but unfortunately it's just uh, a feudal age king 220 health like i said the kingly presence heals nearby units two every one second Anatan does not have the vision on these longbows running by, so could easily get uh, get some extra damage in, get a few picks, as we see the longbows starting to head for the hills as the first horseman has been spotted on out. King also circling around. I believe Anatan might be heading for that deer pack. Good use of that one uh, single longbow with the palings and just kiting out that one horseman down to five health the big thing here guess what that horseman's gonna do run right back to the abbey very very key that that horseman stayed alive and oh no this is what i was talking about this is devastating 3db no reaction yet and the king is already starting to pay off not only is this a vil kill maybe even two but this is long term idle time needs to back off with the king good job here not taking too much damage with it longbow starting to move back out and it's not just a few longbows we got seven longbows and the villagers moving back out so feeling pretty comfortable king starting to back on off and horseman mass up to four all the way full health just like that as the uh actual abbey when you're under its presence is much more effective six healing per second rather than two Palings going down to defend up these deer gathering villagers, but at this time, 3DB is kind of leaving his front side open for some more raids. So what's Anatan doing? Putting the pressure on. It's still dead even on the vills, but Anatan, oh, well, Anatan's up that one, and here comes a little bit more damage, maybe a little bit more idle time. Are we gonna see a pick? Turns around with a ton of the vills, shoots their uh, short bows a few times, but. While you might think this is good against any other civilization, with the Abbey of Kings, these horsemen, they're just going to run back home or join in with their kingly partner and heal right back up to full and just go dive in, cause some more idle time. So Anatan's doing a really solid job here and looks like he is planning on uh, maybe saving up those resources to go up to Castle Age. 3db has continued to mass up these longbows up to 12 13 the real problem is going to be for anatan is when that number gets to be able to one two maybe three shot these horsemen it's going to be much harder to kite them out and around however look at 3db scout just perfectly just tracking the horseman mass tracking that king mass around would like to see anatan have a scout with this unit mass and there we go Good little split here. Two of the horsemen come in, dive right back on away. The other horsemen, the king, circling back around for that deer. That That is where the scout has been stationed, but the outpost is seen and the horsemen king group back on away. At this point in time, Anatan has the gold in the bank essentially to go up to Castle Age. Has the stables, um, as well as just that singular stables to be able to produce knights if he does go up to castle age so would like to see another production building or two drop and the big scary thing 18 longbows 19 20 i mean we're, we're just continually massing those longbows three more in queue Blacksmith has been dropped for 3db who gets the uh, range damage upgrade So again, this is really going to be the problem is when these units are going to start being able to be two shot like this The healing is rendered to be ineffective Two hundred more food in the bank and it hands on berries as English Something you never want to do his 460 wood would have much rather seen a full set of farms he would have probably been already able up to go up to castle age first and the farms under the town center is going to be a much safer food in the long term once uh, any pressure does come down and know the king dead boom just like that 300 resources down the drain and 21 archers are not easy to deal with villagers headed for the hills white tower going down this is a hundred percent production and the big thing here is this is going to allow anatan to immediately build 
a manganel at 100% production. Not really the worst thing, especially when you think about he can easily just transition this and build a second TC behind this because right he needs to deal with the longbow mass in his face. This is super, super scary. Could just be a game ender if this gets on your eco because you don't have the production. You don't have the units to deal with this. Throws away the scout. Now is going to be lacking vision. 3DB is feeling comfortable moving even further out on the deer. 3DB sights the, the white tower. Has to back away. And at this point, I think he might start idling his longbow production. Cutting the longbow production. And uh, transition more into Castle Age. Nope, still continuing it on up, but is moving on over to gold. So is that transition heavier onto that castle age? The longbows don't cost too much food, so really is not too much of a burden. Able to start stacking up these resources while continuing to put this pressure. Here comes the pressure on the uh, the English wood line. Good reaction time by Anatan. But villagers need to get in that town center. Need to get in that town center fast. Already two get sniped on out. Three. Ooh, good little back wall. But the back wall. Oh. No. Looks like it's able to be... Uh, circled around but it's not 3db just stashes those longbows over on the wood line forces anatan to take the forward wood line and guess what he's gonna do start massing up longbows right next to that other wood line the key thing for anatan and against the english in general is you have to start getting them on their back foot picking off their reinforcing units doing extra damage there hasn't been able to get the resources for manganella doesn't seem And it's, yeah, it's it's not the wood line. It's the no gold that uh, 3DB is focusing on. No gold, no manganel. Scout circling around trying to see where Anatin might try to get gold from. And that's exactly what these longbows are going to do as well. Cutting off the gold. And the opposite side. And might be able to see those vills on the wood line. Get some extra picks there as well. Finally, a couple of the longbows that are reinforcing are getting picked off. And the other ones move up on that wood line, just as I mentioned. However, a little too close to that white tower. Those villagers pull back, finally building some additional farms. Really going to be able to support this production, but he hasn't been producing anything. Has 800 more stone? Is he dropping a key? He's just going to drop a key? I guess he's going to try to drop another keep, but I'm not really sure where. And moved out for deer instead of that gold. I felt like gold was the, the more valuable resource, but you know, Anatan, don't see him play English too much. Um, he showed us some, some extra damage that the king could do early, but just not really enough long term. And this shows you the value of the council hall in the long term. 3db moving forward dropping the king's palace going more for that eco who was already ahead a significant amount of eco <gasps> keep trying to be dropped no oh! there's so many bills just dying i like the 800 stone was such an investment and this keep it does not really get too much long-term value yeah you might clear up uh, a little bit more of this longbow mass but not before you lose another 5 10 15 bills longbows are full denied the forward wood line there's just basically nothing that anakin anatan can do just because of all longbows just hasn't been able to deal with this Pulls all of these vills and here it is. This is just basically the final stand. He says, I need this to go up. I have to have this going up. Castle Age finishes for 3DB, who has an untouched eco behind this, feeling very comfortable and denies the keep, killing more villagers on their way to the White Tower, sending three horsemen over to the smaller uh, bits of longbows and the keep's canceled. None of the farms have any villagers on top of him. He's down to 30 vills. Another king back into the mix. 
but I just don't think this is going to be enough. 3DB getting some extra upgrades through and just booming, booming behind this. Has a second TC with the King's Palace because he was not forced on the White Tower and Anatan calls game. He got his English out of the way, though. We're going to be moving on. We got Arabia out of the way. We might see some more exciting maps, some more exciting civs, but this is just the first game in the best of three. Best of five, sorry.